Market Theatre this April. The play How Long will be revived by well-known director Du Maganjov after 45 years. It was banned during the apartheid era. It's a play that was said to have unnerved the apartheid government. It told the story of a grandmother brutally killed by police. Fearing it would have caused a possible uprising, how long was eventually banned? Forty-five years later, the play written by Brad Gibson, often referred to as the father of Township Theatre, returns to the stage. His close friend and director Duman Lovu says it's taken 12 years to bring the project to life. Just before he died, in 2004, he came to me, we sat down, he said, Craig, I would like to leave all my works under your care to do with them whatever you can. I'm proud today that uh, we are standing here at the Playhouse with the first play of the reimagined works of Gibson Kente about to be launched, and I'm very excited. Popular South African entertainer Somi Zimshongom has choreographed the play. When they asked me to, to, to choreograph, I was really honored because that's when I was conceived in the musical. And <laughs> yes, that's when I was conceived in the musical. And it's amazing that I was born there and I grew up listening to this music. Kenta wrote several plays that reflected the struggles of black people in the 1960s. He produced his first play, Manana the Jazz Prophet, in 1963 which featured celebrated musicians Cypher Semenya and Letambulu. His other famous pieces include Mama and the Lord and Too Late. In 1976, he was jailed shortly after the filming of How Long. It was last performed in the country in 1973. We saw a little bit of the performances and it's going to be fantastic, absolutely loaded with energy. As one lady said, it's going to be fireworks. What I've seen here has taken me back to those days when one was a, a teenager. Kente died in the year 2003 after publicly announcing that he was HIV positive. How long opens at the Durban Playhouse on the 5th of May? Mungisi Kumadom, SAPC News, Durban.